Well, it is not a brand new space, but it is new. We are at the Crown and Press, a beautiful art gallery slash cafe. And I am here with Hamilton Moms. What a fun thing to do to end the week. And Lizzie is kind of the organizer, ringleader of all the moms and dads mm -hmm. and their babes. Tell me about your group. Yeah, there's so much to tell. So we're having so much fun. I moved to Hamilton recently mm -hmm. and I didn't have any mom friends. So I thought maybe I'd make a nice little walking group. Yeah. And it's exploded into three events and Crown and Press is our Friday meetup spot. That's awesome. Every Friday at 12 o'clock, everyone just comes and hangs out, grabs lunch, and we call it the mom social because <laughs> all the moms get together, yeah. social, have lunch, and look at all the beautiful artwork around. And you know, it's so interesting because moms, new moms, it's it's difficult for new moms to get out so and, and socialize and socialize their babies and stuff. And it can be intimidating and it can be um, overwhelming, but to have such a nice, comfortable, safe space to do it in, you guys must love that. I love it so much because I was looking for that too. Mm -hmm. And I never like to think of myself as the, the leader, but a nice mm -hmm. support. Um, we have a nice Facebook group, Instagram. We all connect online and in person. Mm -hmm. We do clothing swaps. So oh. We can share all the clothes with all the kids. That's such a good idea. My son's 11 months old, and okay. he is wearing clothes from our friends' yeah. kids. That from are, a few are now ago. like two. They're now like <laughs> yeah. two. And it's a really good way to share all the. All the things. <laughs> well, it's true, yeah. right? Because you go through so many stages, and at this age, they go through stages so, so quickly. quickly. And think about, you know, every week you guys meet, think of what they're learning from each other. They learn so much. Right? They're like little sponges. It's so adorable. Like I said, my son learned how to do so many things by watching all the other kids. Yeah. He's almost walking. Wow. And I think that to um, my helper, Renee. Yes. Her son, Milo, and Matt. Hi, Renee. Give, Give us a wave, Renee. Give us a wave. And that's her son there. That's Milo. Hi, Milo. And Kira's just over in the corner there. Oh, my gosh. So cute. And you've got multiple kids that you can just bring and bring the whole crew, right? Everyone's welcome. Mothers of the moms are welcome. Fathers, anyone we want to bring. Yeah. The mom social is not just for the moms, it's for the whole family. That's amazing. And we want everyone to just feel comfortable, have fun, relax, and chat all things mom and babies. It's true, because you can get a lot of advice from a lot of moms, right? So many, or yeah. not even advice, just hang out. Yeah. And just watch. Yeah. Some days you don't even really want to chat, you just need a coffee. Yeah, or you just need some space to let your Some's babe space. run around. And we watch each other's kids all the time. That's it's awesome. It's so great. It's so nice. <laughs> It's such a wonderful, supportive community. We're here at Crown and Press. We're going to be taking a look at some of the brand new fall cookies that they have. Because you don't just want coffee, you want cookies as well. And, of course, the beautiful art. There's so much more coming up on Morning Live. Stay with us. Well, they let us behind the counter, and I'm now with Abby. And Abby's going to show us how to make a latte. But first, we're going to be talking about these beautiful October cookies. What do we have here? So we partner with a baker called Pleasant Bakery. Mm -hmm. She actually bakes everything in-house, and then on Fridays and Saturdays, we have our specialty cookies. So on this side here, you have our classic cookies that we have every week. Okay. We have our double chocolate with Belgian white chocolate. We have our oh sea gosh. salt and chocolate. All of this also, she like gets shipped from like this crazy chocolate company that is just oh. super fancy. This is her cowboy. It's her classic. It's got toffee, coffee, mm. coconut. Um, butterscotch, oh chocolate, pretzel, sea salt. It's, I know, I have one like every week. It's not good for my finger, but it's amazing. Who cares? Also, if you get six, she has like orders online. You pick them up here. You can get six for $25 with no tax. Oh my gosh. And then these are our Halloween October version. So oh we got our caramel apple toffee. Mm. We got our trick or treat. And then we have our browned butter walnut pecan. How do you decide which one to eat? Honestly, I just eat all the stuff. <laughs> There's no decision. We just eat. Just keep eating right, all We're going to get started on the latte, but someone is making the latte I right know. now. It's a little busy this morning, but we're going to go oh, through okay. just a classic mm. version on how to make a latte. I'm actually making a latte for Luke, our cameraman, the day. Always. So, we have a beautiful machine that we actually got used from an old... Um, bar and cafe called Ward 4 mm. that they are now focusing on events, but we got all of their old oh, equipment. Amazing. So 
it's well loved and well taken care of. That's nice. It's like sustainability, exactly. right? Exactly. Where we're cycling, upcycling. So you got it. We have a. This is called a WDT distributor. It makes sure there's no <laughs> air pockets in there. We got a. I've used that before. I'm horrible at making latte, so I'm glad it's you and not you me. You clean the cleats. The what? What's it called? It's called the cleats. You Just clean to make the sure cleats. There's no uh, all those grains in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let that go as we start steaming the milk. Now the steaming the milk process is kind of the most intimidating part. Well, of yeah, the I'm process. always scared I'm gonna burn myself. I know. Ooh. Especially since this steam wand is quite powerful. You only it steam is. it for like two or three and seconds. And like people make lattes at home, but what's the difference getting it at home or here? Well, at home, it's the difference is the amount of heat that comes through here. It's hard to get to the same amount of heat that you need for it to aerate properly at a home machine. I get it. But here, like, we take really good care to make sure that it's nice and hot, mm -hmm. that it's aerated mm -hmm. the amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then also you get a little bit of art, which is like, ooh. We get to see latte art. I'm so horrible at making latte yeah, art. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a struggle. <laughs> this is going to be, like, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Abby, you look like such a pro, though. Okay, here we go. Are we going right. to see the art? So first, you got that beautiful crema in the mm -hmm. coffee. You see that espresso there? Yeah, that looks so amazing. So you want to start off by filling it up two thirds of the way to make kind of a base, so you go quickly. Okay. And the goal is to have like this silky smooth milk quality. Okay. So two thirds of the way. It's like you almost have to have nice art because you're in an art gallery. I know. <gasps> what are you going to make? Just a heart. Just oh. a little heart for oh. Luke. Heart. A heart from the heart for Luke. For Aww. Luke. Well, thanks, Abby. <laughs> Back here at Crown and Press, I have now uh, wrangled Justin, who is the manager here of the art gallery, to chat with me a little bit about the art and the space and the concept. It is so beautiful and fun in here. I love that about this space. Normally, art galleries are a bit stuffy. So our whole goal is to try to make this art gallery as inviting as possible. Yeah. We want people to come here, hang out all day, bring your laptop, sit here and work. We don't have a time limit, so That's you can spend awesome. as long as you want. And we just want to get past that barrier where art galleries are difficult to approach, mm -hmm. and you feel kind of you feel You're like you don't belong. Yeah. yeah, and so we just want to break down that barrier. The coffee is a great way to get mm -hmm. people here to just enjoy the place. I mean, you've got everyone from elderly to babies in here right now, so that just says it all. You got to start the art appreciation young, and so <laughs> we're working on that right now. I wonder, like, did the babies kind of come up and check it out and they, go, whoa, that's neat? Like the color concept? They love the, the ones the with the bright colors. Yeah. We have a couple ones with animals, and the babies love the oh, animal ones, of that's course. That's so too. sweet. Yeah. Okay, we've got a couple of feature artists here. Tell me a little bit about both. So we have Michelle Reed and Adele Webster. Both of them are from Kingston, so they did a great little road trip. They nice. were friends before. And so they I'm got from to Kingston. Perfect. And they had a great little road trip it was they came down with all of their art. So the idea being, we have 30 different Canadian artists, mm -hmm. and we want to be able to spotlight all of them. Okay. So on the outside wall, we have all of our artists. Once a month, we'll pick a couple artists to highlight on these middle sections. Okay. So that everybody gets their chance in the spotlight. Next month, we'll get some more featured artists, and we can show off their work to everybody else as well. Okay, that's awesome. Now, I'm looking at some of the price points. So. And I'm like, hmm, I really like this piece, but my budget's maybe not going to be suitable for it this month. So our Let's whole go goal is try to make art as accessible as possible. We want people to get art in their homes, and we don't want them to be concerned about price or size. Okay. So we offer prints in everything that we have. So say you see this painting on the wall, mm -hmm. and you absolutely love it, but it's too big, or it's maybe outside of your budget. Yep. We can make it smaller for you. We can put it on different material. Anything we can do to make it accessible to you to get in your house. That is so amazing, because so many people appreciate art. It's just a world that they can't quite get into because A, they may be intimidated by it. This space is great to come in and you feel welcome and you feel uh, you know, open to ask questions and talk to people. And two, maybe they just can't afford it. It's not in their budget, but this gives it a very accessible way to do it. Yeah, and we want people to see something like this and say, oh, that's reasonable, I can do that. And yeah. then maybe eventually they can work towards getting an original that they can feel really proud about. Totally, okay, and then we've got some merchandise over here too. Yeah, so Julia has all of these, Julia Veenstra has all of these wonderful pillows, tote yeah. bags, 
She does notebooks, greeting cards. She has mm. these great books here. Oh, this is like, awesome. Look at, these, look at those cows. It's this great cow <laughs> ABC book. Oh. Uh, we have Canada Coast to Coast, which is a great like yeah. coffee table book to flip through. Totally. And then there was a thing inside my shoe. It's a little story that her <laughs> daughter made. Aww. When her daughter was in high school, she wrote the story. No and way. now her daughter has her own kids. And she's like, hey, mom, let's turn that story into this great book that I we can share with everybody. Love that. OK, uh, coming up, more from the art gallery. We're going to be taking a look at some of the shops behind the art gallery. So don't go anywhere. There's a lot more coming up right here on Morning Live. We've made our way to the back of the art gallery, but we're still part of the gallery. We're looking at more wearable art, and we are being joined by Sandra. We are in Gilded Cage Boutique, and you've got me in one of your beautiful outfits. I do. This is designed in-house, and this is, we call it uh, flex linen. So it's not actually linen, but it's all sustainable, wrinkles less than linen, and it looks amazing It on is you. so incredibly comfortable. It's kind of... A, vintage inspired look it's yeah. sort of slouchy it is the pants are a little bit oversized and it's Sorry, just like... a great everyday suit that yeah. you can change up if you want to go out we oh, can yeah. show you a couple the of different couple of different ways that you can change the look okay so you've got business attire in here you've got more casual attire in here you've got everything from um, cozy clothes to That's dress right. your clothes. That's right. And we also feature local artisans okay. and small businesses. So they make hand make products and we sell those too. So I love the sustainability aspect too. Everything here is sustainably made, ethically made. Everyone is paid fairly and it's got a nice vibe to it. It really of that. does. Yes. And the colors, oh my goodness, they're so bright and they're so beautiful. We like, we like to kind of match the art. We think it's kind of a good, a good team. Yeah, it's wearable art. That's right. Right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show option. you another piece. So this is the bamboo shirt that you're wearing. It's so soft Again, and comfortable. Again, sustainably made. So incredibly soft. We have found that since COVID, nobody really wants to go back to the way it was. Well, no. They wanna, you want to look good, but you want to be comfy. Okay. So this is our huge wrap. Oh, this is awesome. So this <gasps> is in the green, which is a great color on you. Can I whip it? Yeah, you can whip it. <laughs> oh, but wait, where's my microphone? Whip it good. Okay. So this is just another kind of elevated way to wear this. So you can wrap it, you can just be cozy in it, but it looks like a million bucks. I'm only coming coming down because of the microphone, but not only can you wear it like a shawl, like a wrap, but you can also wear it like a vest. Ha ha, this is so neat. <laughs> so I've been here before. You could do a little tie <laughs> here, but then if you belted it, mm -hmm. you could easily Cute. Easily just belt that up, and then you've got a whole other look. Okay. And you had a great point. You could tie knots in here. Yeah, you could totally tie knots in there and just make it, you know, as unique and as personalized yeah. as you want. And we've got the third option. What we want more than anything is versatility. And I haven't changed my base yet. Exactly. So you've got one outfit, and I'm turning it into four. Exactly. <laughs> so this is, let's say you are, you know, I know you're very busy. I am. And you want to just go. You want to just put something on. I just got to go and go. So this is done really well for us. We designed this and it's called the multi-wig cape. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to help you on this side. Tell me what's happening on Friday, Sandra. This is the fashion show, very first fashion show, Crown and Press and Gilded Cage Boutique. We are featuring local celebrities like yourself. So that's going to be super fun. And Annette. And Annette. And you will be showing off some of our beautiful styles. And just come. I mean, yes. go to the website, Crown and Press website is on there, all the information. Just come. You don't need a ticket. And if you do have a ticket, tickets are free to come in. And it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be great. Art, the fashion. It's going to be amazing. Meet you. And you. <laughs> and me. And Annette. We're and this is here. our beautiful cape. So it's silk, vintage silk, upcycled. Wear a little heel and you're done. All right, yeah. beautiful. Well, thank you so much thank for you. having thanks us today. For, thanks for coming. It's been so fun being in this space. Crown and Press, beautiful cafe, Julia Veenstra, always a pleasure to be in your space. Lots more coming up on Morning Life.